All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to finish up uh, wiring these tow mirrors. I haven't wired them in yet, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing it. So in my previous video, I showed you how to get the wires through the door and out this side piece right here, which I'll splice some of that clip in, is if you've got these uh, big aftermarket tow mirrors like I do, the newer style ones, this one's got the glass off of it right now, but uh, to wire them up, put the wires in through here, and while you have your speaker off, you can reach up inside and grab the wires to push them through this rubber grommet right here. And then when you take these side kicker panels off, then they come out just nicely through there and through that big hole. And I've got my wires here, but that's just in case you guys didn't know. But anyways, there's a little rubber grommet up here that the wires will go through pretty easily. Uh, mine already has wires going to it from my pod gauges, but you just run the wires through there. When you come around, they come out right, right about there, not too far down into the truck, so don't look too hard. Um, if it's catching on something or you're not seeing it, there's this fabric piece on the firewall that it's probably running into and sticking on. But I've run the wires out, and uh, all your wires that go to the turn signals over here all come up through this uh, wire loom. And for your turn signal, this light blue wire is your positive and then you'll just ground your black wire somewhere else. But so let me show you real quick that it's working. So I'm gonna turn my hazards on. You can see right there. And then if you hold that to ground, you see this is going right there. So that's all you do for the first step. Um, I'm gonna, whoop. I'm gonna get that wired up and I'll come back with the next step. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right guys, so next up we wired in these lights over here on the side. Um, on the newer trucks, these are clearance, uh, clearance lights, they're like um, courtesy lights, like when you unlock the truck, they'll turn on. And um, I'm tying them into the reverse lights so that they help me out to see next to me when I'm backing up. So the place to do that there's not any wires inside or up front of the truck that are dedicated to reverse circuit. So all you do is you climb underneath the driver's side here. And right underneath on the frame, there's a spot right here with uh, three bolts. Let's see, one, two, three. You look right behind that. In this wire loom and tag this light green wire. And then that will make the side lights turn on when your reverse lights are on. This wire runs all the way back to the reverse circuit. So we're gonna get that tagged up and then we'll come back and we'll get the clearance lights worked out. All right, another quick note to mention guys is our grounding location. Um, when we ran these wires out, like I told you before, we tapped our green wire into this wire loop. There's a ground screw right there. Um, that's where we tapped in the ground for these mirrors. Because you can run it up right along this wire loom. So that's where those are going. Uh, just for the reference, I didn't say that earlier. Alright, so we got the running lights tied in. And that's these lights here on the front. Now, some people aren't going to tear their mirrors apart so that they have the separate running lights and turn signals because when you first buy these they come pre-wired as the both turn signals but I tore it apart and I ran the extra wires up here and in the same wire loom where we did our uh, turn signals we tied into that brown dark brown wire right there coming across the blue wire it's a real dark brown. Uh, but that's where you tie in your running lights and then I'll show you. Turn that switch on and there they are. There's those on. Along.
along with these. I got a light burned out, but that's how you wire those in. So what we're doing now is we're taking the wires from the other side. We ran them up underneath the carpet and we're running them over here and we're tying them all into these wires. Now, you can't tie in the turn signal wire because then they would both flash when you turned on your left turn signal. So you'll have to run that separately. I'll show you where that wire is next. But right now we're tying in the reverse light, the ground, and the running light over here. So let me get that wired in. I'll come back and show you where the other turn signal's at. All right guys, so the turn signals from your passenger side run up through this same wire loom right here that we've been tying everything into. And it is this dark blue wire. And you have to be careful because there's this dark blue and a, uh, a more of a dull blue, but it's the darkest blue that's in there uh, for your turn signal on your passenger side. So you'll tie into that one or your passenger side mirror's turn signal. All your other wires, you should be able to just tap into your driver side mirror. Um, for example, your running lights on the front. These lights I tied into reverse lights and uh, actually that's about it, isn't it? The ground, that's the other one. So yeah, those other ones you can tie in together, but we'll do a little quick demo real quick. See what these look like. So, turn the truck to run. Put the window down so I can reach through here. So you got your turn signal. I've got hyper flashing because I've got a bulb burned out up on the front. You see that's my left. That's working right there. If I turn the running lights on, we've got that one, and we've got that one over there. Turn the running lights off, and finally, if we put the truck into reverse. See these lights right here are coming on. On both sides. And I'd show you the turn signal on this side, but I've got the glass off right now because I need to repair that. But there you go, that's how you wire up these new gen mirrors on your uh, 88 to 98 Silverados. Um, each Silverado might be a little bit different just because uh, somewhere between there they changed up from the older dash style to this newer one. So a bunch of stuff has changed, but uh, that's how you're gonna wire up your mirrors. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna see me do. But um, that's all for right now. I should have my rear speaker video coming in pretty soon. And after that, I should be building a box for my 410, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.